and welcome back. Today, I'm checking out the knob filament dryer that was sent over to me by my new friends at FixDry. I'm assuming they call this the knob dryer because there's literally just one knob and a power switch on the back. If you want to check out this dryer or any of FixDry's other products, affiliate links are pinned in the comments as well as the video's description. You can also use code AVIL10 at checkout to save 10% on your purchase. Okay, I'm unboxing this in real time, so we're both getting to see it for the first time together. So straight away, the first thing I noticed is that the real-time humidity monitor is always on. That's kind of neat. I thought this was a sticker over the display, but it's not. You can see the humidity without even plugging it in. And here you can see the power switch on the back next to the fan and power housing. There's no power brick, which is nice. It's all internal. It's very sleek. And here is a filament exit hole. There's actually one in that same spot on both sides, so you don't have to worry about putting the roll in backwards by accident. It also sports a nice gloss black finish, but I'm already getting fingerprints on it. It took me a second to figure out how to open this lid, but it's magnetic which is a nice touch. No clips to bother with, just pop it off and on. And tucked inside here is the manual and a piece of PTFE tubing. And a quick glimpse inside at the metal rollers for the filament to sit on. this so you can feed it over to your printer Very nice. and here's a quick look at the manual for anyone interested according to the dryer it has a temperature range of 45 celsius to 70 celsius or 115 fahrenheit to 158 fahrenheit and here it is next to the Solval dryer that i currently use and the rolls inside it haven't been used in quite a while so i know they are both in need of dehydrating other than that, the Sovel is a dual spool holder, which is nice to have, but luckily FixDry carries a dual holder as well, so go check it out. There's the temperature gauge. Let's plug her up. All right, so I've got it plugged in and turned on. It's at 38% humidity right now. I'm just gonna set it at the highest temperature and come back and check on it in about an hour. While I wait for that, I needed to get everything else ready to print. Can you, I don't know if you can hear that. Extremely quiet. All right, we'll let it run for about an hour. Come back. Now, some of you may remember my video from almost two years ago to the day where I made a case out of TPU for my phone, outlining the use of Z-Hop and Cura. I'll tag that video at the end of this video for those who want to check it out for more details on what I'm actually doing here. Anyway, here's that two-year-old phone case now, and it obviously needs replacing. I'm really shocked it lasted two years. I thought it would make it six months at most. Definitely surprised me. Anyway, this time around, I wanted to make something with a little more detail, and being a big fan of horror movies and the like, I chose to go that route. And since I can't draw to save my life, I used an AI image generator to come up with something for me. It ended up taking forever to get a prompt that actually made something I wanted, so I'll just jump to the final image I chose, which is this one. And here you can see the models in Tinkercad before I opened them up and Cura and sliced them. Right. 
remembering to check the box to enable Z-Hop. I originally wanted to use my SV06 to print these, but I kept having an issue with TPU getting jammed. I'm sure I can resolve this issue with a little more tinkering, but I didn't want to take the time, and since I knew I already had another printer that I know prints TPU well, I busted out an old friend. Ow! My Ender 3 Pro. Now I had taken the screen off of this, and the switch for the lights, so I had to put those back on first, but that took all of 10 minutes. I'd never see you again. After I finished with that, I realized it had been about an hour, so I pulled the fixed dry dryer down to check on it. Now the humidity display is showing 13%. I had glanced over at it a few times over the last 20 minutes or so, and it had been bouncing between 12 and 14%, so I assumed it was about as low as it was going to get. And here's a better close-up of those recommended temperatures for specific filaments that I managed to somehow overlook earlier. <laughs> anyway, let's start this print. So here's the first layer of black TPU going down. This is going to be the image on the phone case, so it goes down first. And here that is finished. Now I'm starting the actual case. So I've just temporarily set the knob dryer on the bed of my SV06. This obviously isn't its permanent home, but if anything, it should give you an idea of how compact it is. Oh, and it's actually dropped down to 10% humidity now. Nice. Okay, so now I just have to wait several hours for this to finish printing. And here it is finally done. Let's get it off the build plate. It's actually stuck on there pretty well, a little too well. I may need to adjust my baby steps a little bit more. But here's the final product and it looks pretty good. Certainly a lot better than the one I'm replacing. <laughs> Now let's get it on the phone and check the fit. All right, it's nice and snug just like the last one and all the buttons work. So I'm pretty happy with it. Alright, so in closing, as I said, Fix Dry sent me this dryer to test out for free, but I do want to make it clear that even though it was free, I would not recommend it if I thought it wasn't a good product. So to reiterate, if you want to check it out for yourself or any other Fix Dry product, affiliate links will be pinned in the comments. Using those will help me out. You can also save yourself 10% at checkout by using discount code AVIL10. Alright, that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate you tuning in, catch you in the next one, and as always, have the best day ever.